Microsoft is jumping into the AI game and giving Google a run for their money. In this very quick video, I'm gonna show you what the interface looks like, how it differs from ChatGPT, and why Microsoft might actually be giving Google a run for their money. First, let's take a look at this box right here. Microsoft is introducing us to how this works. Now, when you click try on one of the prompts, you'll see this prompts is you need arts and crafts ideas with instructions for toddlers using cardboard boxes, blah, blah, blah. When we click try, Microsoft is doing something really interesting. On the right hand side, you'll see that this is our chat GPT box. On the right side of our, right side of our screen, we have the AI actually coming up with and mapping out different ideas. While on the left side, Bing is taking a big old chunk out of Google, um, which is saying something because Bing has really struggled to get a foothold. In fact, when most people say go search something on the internet, they just say go Google it. So the fact that you not only have AI mapping things out for you and coming up with a script for you, coming up with um, a play-by-play -play for how to do something, and also it's integrating search. So right from my screen on the left side, I can click on relevant links, like 20 ideas for kids and cardboard boxes. So the marriage of both OpenAI with Google search, I really hate to say it because I was kind of anti-Microsoft. Um, I think they kind of nailed it. Now, if you're excited about this feature, and I am too, I have good news and bad news for you. The good news is I think it's going to make internet searches fun and interesting again. The downside is that if you were to type in a query into this bar up here, um, it doesn't do anything. So if I were to prompt this, you know, help me find a romantic dinner for Valentine's Day, it just brings me to a generic Google search. Um, doesn't really help me. In fact, if you click this learn more, you'll see that you actually have to join a wait list. So my recommendation to you is if you're watching this video right now, um, join the wait list and be one of the first people to have access to Microsoft's new open AI plus internet search. And if you're new to this channel, I've just introduced something called memberships. If you're a virtual assistant and you are looking for some one-on-one -on -one coaching, but don't really want to break the bank uh, for $5 a month, I am now offering uh, live coaching where I come on my YouTube once a month uh, for an hour, if not more, depending on how many people are there, where you can ask me questions live and I will answer them. So come make sure you're hitting that join button on the homepage. Make sure you are coming to me once a month with your questions about your business and I will help coach you right in the moment. Uh, our first live is February 17th. That's a Friday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys on tomorrow's video.